That was just streamed live. You are live. Hello, my name is Ron Perry and I've got a lot to share with the community and that's why I'm making these videos pretty simple. Today I'm going to talk about a very important thing in terms of uh, building highly involved long-term projects that have lots of fiddly little parts. Let's bring the box over here to see if we can pull out some fiddly parts to show an example. <laughs> there we go. Lots of fiddly little parts, stuff like this and stuff like this and just all the doodads that are in these big kits. How do you keep your stuff organized in a way so that you can finish the project with all your uh, supplies safe and intact? So. Something that I've been doing for years and years is using project trays like this one. Uh, I have about four of them and I've got four projects that are in each one and uh, these are projects that were, you know, sometimes done years ago. Uh, so uh, these are my mainstay. These, I got these off of uh, my grandfather. Uh, when he passed on and uh, they're the best little project trays you could ever have however if you're not fancy you can use a piece of plywood like this you see this is a project that I did last last year the uh, imagine that laser art factory uh, wall kit. It's got tools in here that I should be putting back in the box and and seeing as I I pulled this out I might as well clean up this project board because that project's pretty much done However at the time it's got all the parts that were going on like uh, What was this for? Oh Woolworths, I was making a uh, a painted sign on a building so uh, these are the types of things that your project boards are you know uh, set to hold and you know it's really important to keep your supplies in the right spot or in a safe spot during a long-term project because uh, you know little parts like this uh, lifesaver you know that could get lost in a second and is sitting in the bottom of a, a detail box like this it's it's disappeared for life so let's get this camera moved down onto the work workbench and uh we'll start talking about uh project trays and uh, where are my projects going uh, what is the next project good question good question Ron so I recently got to a uh, point on the shipyard at Foss project 
where you know I'm pretty happy with where it is and uh, I think I can move on to the next diorama in the series so that means that uh, I've got another two feet by two feet to build And I need to clean this board off so that I've got a project board for uh, that. So I do these uh, streams early in the morning. And I bet most of you are at work or uh, doing something else at the time that I'm streaming. So feel free to comment in these videos. I'm going to read it. Uh, uh, tell me what you, you're thinking, what you think of the videos. I know I don't have any music. We might get to the music. I, I'd like to do music once a week or something with friends. I don't know. Uh, But, uh, yeah, so comment down below if you're, re if you're watching this after the fact and you have any comments. Uh, don't be afraid to do that. So look, cinder blocks. I'm going to leave that on the board. Uh, these are parts to a resin kit that I had. So that's pretty much garbage. These are trucks. That can be used in this project. Some rail. And that's a box for one of my boats. So we're not going to throw that out. Got a detail part that looks like a generator. So I usually listen to music in these shows, but uh, I was asked to stop by a good friend, so <laughs> I, I stopped. We might get back to it later. I think it would be good to do a once a week thing uh, where we, a couple of friends hang out and uh, listen to good music. I think that would be a great idea. Uh, these are some detail parts from uh, Jeff Otto's... Uh, uh, Oak Oak Hill uh, track supply where you, you find uh, the awesome uh, track jigs and super detailed switches like I've heard a lot of people complain about uh, I've heard a lot of people complain about the lack of details on track uh, if you are one of those people, Oak Hill Track Supply is the place to go for sure. He's got, uh, well, let's pull this out. We'll pull this out. So we've got, I can't show them to you. They're, they're too darn small. But what you find in there are, are tie plates and... Uh, the 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 un the all the little bolts on the side of the rail when the, where they bolt together uh, all kinds of little detail parts uh, I don't even know the names to all of them but there's a couple of tie plates they're so small you can't even see them but they're in there I got to work on that switch that he sent oh, actually here's here's one of the switches right here I made it into my microphone uh, lots of garbage on this thing some brass uh, etched brass parts for a boat some strip wood
Uh, what are you building out there? Are you interested in fine scale building? Uh, maybe you are interested in, don't know where to start? Ask your questions in this video and uh, in the next video, I'll answer them if there's any questions. Uh, that's a pull. There's lots of kit uh, parts to that boat kit that I was building last year. I should probably finish the video on it. I had a computer crash, so uh, that got in the way of uh, making the video. Okay. These are tie downs from Canadian PDC, I think. Canadian company. Uh these cinder block They're laser cut out of balsa. They're, they're cut into cinder block shapes. And uh, I got them from Imagine That Laser Art, the old owner, Mark Williams. Oh, look at that. We've got, I could use that on this kit. What do we got to use that on? Yeah. The underhang on the yard master's office. There's some rafters instead of cutting out my own. Right on. Some more resin pieces for a boat kit. I like the boats. Uh, over the past year, of, I've uh, had uh, more time to build models that are sent to me because uh, the the private work has, has kind of gone downhill surprise surprise so I got to build uh, lots of my uh, kits that I have around like especially these uh, well, that's for the okay so this is for a turntable I built last year I think the gentleman passed away I don't I can't get a hold of him no more But we'll build that anyways, put it on camera. Piece of brass. Just picking out garbage as I go. Some more rail. Really ruin these sponges uh, pretty quickly by putting certain solvents into them. <laughs> Some corrugated uh, metal. Get rid of these wires. Oh, I've been looking for that. That was supposed to Oh, okay, so I sent mine to James Wright. And here's the other one. Finally, I've got the other one for my, uh, for the trains for kids. It's a part to the stone mill. Okay, guys, this is uh, dispatch number one, I guess, and uh, 
Maybe by the end of the weekend I'll do another one. It's going to be early in the day. I have plans to get together with uh, Andy Crawford uh, to do a new show. And hopefully that will be able to be streamed live too. Uh, lots of stuff planned for the channel. We'll see if uh, my ambition stays up. I guess I'm gonna shut this off now and see what it was like on the other side of the recording. So thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.